Peter's uh, oratory uh, in Greenover Hermitage County North, uh, Ireland, South. So, the Lord be with you all and with your spirit. Now we're going to get down to business because today is the sixth, Master Sixth Sunday of Ordinary Time, the last Sunday before Lent. So we're going to call to mind now all our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words and what I have done or prepared to do. Through my part, through my part, through my most grievous part, therefore I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the innocent and saints in you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me the Lord of God. May Almighty God have mercy us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. On an earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the Lord of God the Father. Amen. Now I want to let us pray. We're going to pray for the wisdom that is greater than human words. Father in heaven, the loving plan of your wisdom took flesh in Jesus Christ and changed mankind's history by his command of perfect love. May a fulfilment of his command reflect your wisdom and bring us your salvation to the ends of the earth. We ask this, O Lord Jesus Christ, the Son, who lives and reigns with you in the youth, Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Jesus is friend of the outcasts. We hear about the lepers. Always remember that. Same community, no matter where you are, he's your friend, you call him. So the first reading goes like this. It's from the book of Leviticus. I'm going to hear about the leper. He had to live apart at that time and must live outside of the camp. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron, if a swelling or scab or shiny spot appears on the man's skin, a case of leprosy of the skin is to be suspected. The man must be taken to Aaron the priest or to one of the priests who are his sons. The man is leprous. He's unclean. The priest must declare him unclean. He is suffering from leprosy of the head. A man infected with leprosy must wear his clothing torn and his hair disordered. He must shield his upper lip and cry, Unclean, unclean. As long as the disease lasts, he must be unclean, and therefore he must live apart. 
he must live outside the camp. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. Now the response today is, You are my refuge, O Lord. You fill me with joy of salvation. Nice response to your psalm. You are my refuge, O Lord. You fill me with joy of salvation. Happy the man whose offence is forgiven, whose sin is remitted. O happy the man to whom the Lord imputes no guilt, in whose spirit is no guile. You are my refuge, O Lord. You fill me with the joy of salvation. But now I have acknowledged my sins, my guilt I did not hide. I said I will confess my offences to the Lord, and you, Lord, have forgiven the guilt of my sin. You are my refuge, O Lord. You fill me with the joy of salvation. Rejoice, rejoice in the Lord, exult. You must, you just. O come, ring out your joy, all you upright of heart. You are my refuge, O Lord. You fill out me with joy of salvation. And the second reading, it's a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. And we hear where he takes me for your model as I take Christ. Mm. Whatever you eat, whatever you drink, whatever you do at all, do it in the glory of God. Never do anything offensive to anyone, to Jews or Greeks or to the Church of God, just as I try to be helpful to everyone at all times. Not anxious for my own advantage, but for the advantage of everybody else, so that they may be saved. Take me for your model as I take Christ. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. On the feet now of her the gospel acclamation followed with the gospel. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. May the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ enlighten the eyes of our mind so that we may see the hope is called hold for us. Hallelujah. And today's gospel is a reading from the Gospel of Mark and it tells us here about the leprosy. Left him at once, he was cured. So we're on about curing again and healing for Jesus. A reading from the Holy Gospel, according to Mark, glory to thee, O Lord. A leper came to Jesus and pleaded on his knees. If you want, he said, you can cure me. Feeling sorry for him, Jesus stretched out his hand and touched him. Of course, I want to, he said, but cured, be cured. And the leprosy left him at once and he was cured. Jesus immediately sent away him away and sternly ordered him, mind you say nothing to anyone, but go and show yourself to the priest and make the offerings for your healing prescribed by Moses as evidence of your recovery. The man went away, but then started talking a bit freely and telling the story everywhere so that Jesus could no longer go openly into any town. He had to stay outside in places where nobody lived, even so people from all around could come to him. The Gospel of the Lord, Jesus Christ. Well, we all here today. I'm talking about healing last week, and uh, a priest should be able to heal. If you're really poor sincere, uh, I don't excuse many priests from when they're not healing. Uh, a friend of the outcast. Well, Jesus was a friend of the outcast. He wasn't going into some emperor's house and sitting down and getting a big feed and and like that. He was friend of the outcast of down and outs. And I noticed Pope Francis too is a friend of the down and outs. He makes a way for a poor part of the city when he arrives. As soon as he gets his official shake hands, he's away. And he's in places like prisons and even 
Saturday night he's out with the outcasts, the people are homeless in uh, uh, Rome, he's out giving soup. So, to bring help to these outcasts, the Pope does that, I do that in my own way, I don't like bragging about most by myself. Jesus himself had to become an outcast and stay outside in places where nobody lived. That's one thing now. So we heard in the opening prayers, opening prayer, uh, for the wisdom that is greater than human words we prayed for. And of course we heard uh, where the leper had to live outside the camp in, in uh, Leviticus. He was looked as an outcast and he wouldn't come near him, don't touch him. Uh, you don't hear much of that today, someone might have AIDS or something and we don't hear it in the same strength. He's unclean, wear bad clothes. Oh, it was terrible years ago. So, in the sponsor of Islam, we heard you are my refuge, O Lord. You fill me with the joy of salvation. Second reading, Paul to the Corinthians. Take me for your model as I take Christ, Paul says. Do anything, you eat or drink for the glory of God, we're told in that reading. And we come to the Gospel, of course. Uh, a leopard. Leprosy left at once, that's who you heal. But people have to have faith. That man was joking like a, one man I know in this locality went to a healer one day and he said, he can't heal me. Well, you don't say that. That man wanted to be healed. His faith brought him there, and uh, Jesus healed him. Simple as that. And that's how a lot of healing takes place. When I uh, walked through Jesus Christ to do healing, I will probably maybe get to a good surgeon. You get a lot of luck, or something happens. Uh, some one night, I, I know I did uh, one at ten o'clock. I said to hear my mass in Scotland, and. Uh, if she couldn't receive communion, she wouldn't be there. But whatever I said, it, uh, that time I'll be at. So the husband rang, oh, at 10 o'clock that night, this bad abscess busted, and I saved her an operation and wherever it was to go through. So she was delighted, and so was I. Because if you do a good tone, it gives you a kick. It's a, it's a good effect when you help people. But why do you don't put yourself out on the, on the street and you can't help anymore? You have to be sensitive about it. So it's great to see in Mark's Gospel the day, if you have faith again, you, you want to believe in the person you're going to, the priest, and you go and see where you get cured. But it's maybe not leprosy now, it's cancer. But a lot of uh, things I can give you advice on cancer. Cancer is not a disease, it's a fungus. And vitamin B17 is very good for it. Uh, if you increase it, you can go and, and, and check that out yourself. If you have too much acid uh, pH in your, in your uh, pH test, in your urine, uh, it's cancer, causing cancer. Sugar causes cancer. So, too much sugar. You're better with very little sugar because it, it, it makes acid acidity in your urine and your body. So you want to have alkaline in your system as much as you can. So be careful of water you drink that it's correct. Think of everything that you uh, do and uh, try and get the figures down. It used to be 1 in 20, now it's in 1950, I think it's uh, 1 in 20, now it's 1 in 3. So that's not good looking for us all. So we must turn to Jesus. He's the uh, man when you're down and in trouble. Turn to Jesus and have faith in him. And you'll be getting a curing, a healing, psychological or physical. God bless each and every one of you. And for all those people now on the ferry, I ought to say this. Best of luck to you. So remember, you can get a healing. You can get a healing of Jesus. You can call him anywhere. Even on the ferry, you can call him. You can talk to him any time of the day. Now it is all. Stand. And we're going to say.
they to prayer and they sin creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father, before all ages, God from God, light from light, for God through God. Begotten of men, consubstantial with the Father, to whom all things are made, for his man for salvation, he comes out from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnated the Virgin Mary and became man. For the sake of his crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day. In accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory, judge the living and the dead in his kingdom with no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life. He proceeds from the Father and the Son, with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified. He has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I can confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins and look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Now sit down. Uh, you usually told us that, but I like you to sit down because when you're saying prayers of the faithful, if they're not from your heart, there's no point in looking out the window or something like that. You must think of what you're doing. You can put your head down, as you think. So we've listened to the Word of God in the Scriptures, and now we're going to call on God for our needs. It could be a healing, many a thing. Healing for your friend, your sick pet, anybody. For the church in the world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hears. For trustworthy and caring leaders for all peoples of the world. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord hears. For people who will put others before themselves to govern our country. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord hears. That will, we will be strong enough to land, stand alone when everyone deserts us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear my prayer. Make your own special plea now in silence. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear my prayer. prayer. And for all those people who have died recently, and other people who have died around this area that I would know, uh, last week we had Mary Murphy, uh, one of a twin from uh, Carlingford, I'd said Carlingford, and Mary unfortunately passed away. And also we had Myra Murphy Nee Gallagher. I would have known her, uh, I know most all these people in here. So, uh, and one of those Katie Keenan, Mrs. Gallagher. So, Myra passed away. And we have Eamon Comiskey, a very good friend of mine, in Crossmadan that I didn't know he died. It was the same day of Mary Muppet's funeral. I only read it later in the, in the obituary. Just stuck on Armagh, something that inspired me. And I seen the, the death of Eamon Comiskey. He was a very good man to deal with. In the music world, I got some very good deals of him, and I must say that straight. And I, I have great faith in Eamon Comiskey. And the son's not a bad chap either. I spoke to him uh, not too long ago, but uh, the only time that the last time I was talking to Eamon Comiskey, he was telling me about, he was looking for a plot for himself with the graves and Father Tommy McGill was the parish priest at the time, but it seemed to rule down there, they couldn't sell the plots or donate the plots, whatever they do with them, until you die, so that's the way. And then again, a man, gentleman from the dock, a very witty gentleman called Harry Quigley and uh, he has passed away. You see him down off the Castle Inn Road. A very funny man, jokey and good sense of humour. Eternal is granted him all, O Lord, and let your perpetual egg shine upon them, each and every one, a mother's soul, and the souls of all the faithfully parted in the words of the rest, the mercy of God, rest in peace, amen. Now we're going to move on to the Mass. The 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for true goodness you received. The bread we offer you, for the earth work from human hands that come for us, the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. And with the mystery of the water and wine, we come to the share of the divinity of Christ, who humbly said to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine, may it become our spiritual drink. Through the work of human hands, blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and country heart, we you, Lord. And may our sacrifice and saints this day be pleasing to you, Lord, my God. Wash me, O Lord, from iniquity and cleanse me from all my sin. Praise sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be accepted to God Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of the hands of praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Prayer of the gifts. Lord, we make this offering in obedience to your word. May it cleanse and renew us and lead us to a return of reward. We ask this to Christ the Lord. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord, who thanks the Lord of God. It is right and just. Father of purple, an ever living God, would you alone and ever give you thanks. In you, we live and move and have our being. Each day you show us a Father's love. Your Holy Spirit dwelling within us gives us on earth the hope of an ending joy. Your gift of the Spirit who raised Jesus from the dead in the foretaste and promise of the Paschal Feast of Heaven. With thankful praise in company with the angels, we glorify the wonders of your power. Holy, holy, holy. Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth, full of his glory, Hosanna in the highest. Let's see, he comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Your holy deed, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy, therefore these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jew Paul, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your Son, O Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time Jesus was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and given thanks broken and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. <coughs> In some way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more given thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and bring from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant of what I have heard from any of the gifts of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we will take a death of the Lord and you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Given thanks that you have had as worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that we partaken of the body and blood of Christ and we be gathered into the one Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of your charity. Together with Francis the Pope, Michael the Patriarch, for me, a bishop and all the bishops and clergy. Remember your servants, 
who died this week. And that uh, there was Mary Murphy, uh, Myra Murphy, and we also had uh, Eamon Comsky, and we've had uh, many more. Give them all a turn of rest in peace. And of course, uh, the leftist world. To yourself, from this world to yourself, grant that they all who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. And remember also, brothers and sisters, you have all asleep in the hope of a resurrection, and all have died in your mercy. Welcome in the light of peace. Have mercy on us all, we pray. For the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints of Jesus throughout the ages, may we they be co heirs to eternal life, and we uh, praise and glorify you to your Son Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Now let us pray the Lord's Prayer, the Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And do not us, uh, become tempted and uh, deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Grace you grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy and be all us free from sin and save from all distress. As we wait the blessed hope in the coming of the Savior of Jesus Christ, the King of the Parents, who we hold now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, I said to your apostles, peace and leave you with peace and give you. Look not in the sins of the people of the church, and grace you grant a peace and unity in accordance with the will that lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Everybody, race, creed, friend or enemy, and with your spirit. The mingled body and blood bring eternal life to those who receive it. Lamb of God, you take with the sins of the word of mercy. Lamb of God, you take the sins of the word of mercy. Lamb of God, you take the sins of the word of grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold who takes with the sins of the word. Happy are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep me safe in the eternal life of man. God loved the world so much, he gave his only Son, that all who believe in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. What are you, Christ? Peter? Amen. What are you, Christ? Amen. Body of Christ? Body of Christ? Body of Christ? Body of Christ? Hmm. Sweet heart of Jesus. Bond of love and mercy, today we call thy blessing to implore. Oh, touch your heart, so cold and so ungrateful, and make them, Lord, thine own forevermore. 
sweet heart of Jesus, we implore. Oh, make us love thee more and more. Sacrament, most holy, most sacrament divine. All praise and thanks given be every moment thine. O sacrament, most holy, O sacrament divine. All praise and thanks given be every moment thine. O sacrament, most holy, O sacrament divine. All praise and all thanks given be. Every moment thine. Let us pray. Lord, you give us food from heaven. May we always hunger for the bread of life. May our sister Christ the Lord, amen. And the Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless each and every one of you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. The Mass is ended. Go now and spread the gospel in the best of your ability. And we're going to sing a little hymn. You're down and out. Remember, Jesus is the man for the outcast. Lepers. Whenever you have cancer, you remember he's there if you call him. So we're going to sing a little hymn now. It's going to be Hail Queen of Heaven. Hail Queen of Heaven. The ocean star guide on the wander here below. Through our life's search, we claim thy care. Save us from peril and from woes, Mother of Christ. Star of the sea, pray for the wander, pray for me. No gentle chase, I'm spotless made. We sinners make our prayers to thee. Remind thy son. That he has paid the price of our iniquity. Virgin most pure, star of the sea, pray for the sinner, pray for me. Pray for the sinner and pray for me.